Welcome everyone to a brief Tortuga Power channel update. I'll be covering just basically three different topics in here. Um, Advanced Tactics Gold is what we'll start with. I did have this play by email multiplayer series on GD 1938 going a long time ago. And then it, it just stopped, right? And if you were watching it, you might have wondered what happened to it. Well, it was kind of a boring series is what I found. <laughs> Essentially, I didn't go to war as the Soviet Union, so as the USSR, we kind of stayed at peace for a long time, which is what the USSR usually does. But um, I think that just having like 20 episodes on peacetime might have been a bit absurd, so I, I just kind of stopped. I kept recording, but I stopped posting the, record, the, the videos to the channel. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing it back, and this is partly an announcement to let you know that that's the case. I'm going to now reveal to you that we are at war with the Germans. The Eastern Front has opened. And if you are interested in viewing this all for the first time, spoiler free on the videos that come out, I recommend that you move ahead to about the five or six minute mark in the video. Uh, just scroll along the, the YouTube, the, you know, the, the bar of YouTube if you're you know, watching on a PC or a laptop or anything like that. Um, and look for the part where there's stuff covering the Advanced Tactics Gold window. Because I'll be talking about some other stuff overlaid on top of this. But when you see some other boxes appearing on top, then this conversation is... Uh, all the spoilers are gone. I'll rest the map again on some place that doesn't spoil anything. And uh, yeah, that should be around the five or six minute mark. So that said, given that hopefully anyone who doesn't want a spoiler has left, this is the current state of affairs on the Eastern Front. Um, I think it's been three months since the war began and we are already launching a few counter-offensives. I would say that we are in a surprisingly strong position and it has been amazing, like a lot of fun to counterattack them. Now, uh, true to form, the German Navy is defeating us and we have no, <laughs> we don't really have any um, counter to their battleship bombardment, which sounds funny, but it's true. So uh, I guess we could do some bombardments with our artillery, but I'd prefer to use my artillery against the land forces. Anyway, without bogging down in, in the minute details, the minutia, this is the front. And uh, we may have lost a little bit of ground in the south, but we've actually taken ground in the north. And it has been a very bloody fight, as you'd expect. A lot of horses being lost, but with surprising gains. And this itself, February 1940, will be a very exciting turn for the Russians, I believe. Um, so what, I'm gonna, what I plan to do for this series is I'm going to start posting a select few videos of the series leading up to the war. I'll definitely post, I think, the two or at least the one video before war because I knew war would be coming. The, why, the reason why the Germans might be a little bit weaker than they ought to be is because they actually took pretty atrocious losses at the hands of the Allies. So Rufus Firefly has been attacking C.D. Young, and C.D. Young did a like an absurdly good job defending as the Allies. Um, he threw a lot of tank, tank forces in against the, the Germans, and they weren't able to push that deep. You can see how deep they got, you know, this far, because this is now British territory, which is weird, but because <laughs> the, the French control Lyon, but the rest of it is uh, controlled by the British, weirdly. It's just some, if you remember from Hearts of Iron 2, Hearts of Iron 3, there was always these mechanics with reconquering territory with there being problems. Anyway, um, it's not important. It's not expected to happen, so you wouldn't ever really deal with this. But the problem is a peace treaty came about when the Germans were this far in. Basically... The Axis, Rufus, Firefly realized he wasn't making good enough gains. And both of them, very generously, wanted to get me involved in the war. Because that's why I stopped posting the videos. It wasn't really that exciting. Um, and they, they both said, okay, let's just put a truce here. Let's go have a truce and have the Germans turn and the Italians and attack the Russians. And that is what happened. So uh, if you're interested in coming back and watching, I will put a war... I'll post a few videos, just look on the video title description in the chat, I mean in the channel, and when you want to, I will put war specifically on the video where I go to war. If you see that, you probably would be best off looking at the video before that, 
because I, t I knew knowing this, the whole treaty was worked out beforehand openly. So knowing when they would go to war, I already the term before was kind of preparing my strategy. So I think that might be interesting to get some context. If you prefer to avoid it, that's also fine. Um, and actually, there's another huge event which is happening right now elsewhere in the world that I'm very, signif uh, very significantly involved in. But I will leave that as a surprise for the, the videos itself. So uh, I think it's just very interesting to follow the the Eastern Front is so interesting. And this is no War in the East, the, like the Gary Grisby's game, but it is a pretty fun version of it, uh, a lighter version of the Eastern Front than that. And um, it's even more fun because it looks like the Russians will win. <laughs> so that said, I'm gonna move back to a spoiler-free location and we'll start talking about a few other things Basically just one other thing, but it has two components. And that is, um, on the Discord, I've had this supporters and I've just added this ship names thing. This is in preparation for our upcoming Rule the Waves series as, I think, Great Britain. Um, if there's enough, I, I think it was pretty overwhelmingly Great Britain as the, as the desired nation. But maybe I should do a straw poll. I don't know if I should or not, actually. Eh maybe just between Great Britain, Italy, or maybe Great Britain, Italy, and other. And if other gets like a huge majority, um, I can fish for what nation the people really want me to play because it doesn't really matter. I don't mind playing any nation. I just love playing Rule the Waves. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the upcoming series. Obviously, that's slated to start next weekend. I have a huge deadline on Saturday. So I I'm going to be certainly very busy before that. But it's... Uh, if you've been following the Discord, you've also seen like these different ranks being put up. Like, okay, let's just uh, put myself down to captain mode. There's captain, or I can put myself back up to admiral, and then I'm admiral. Um, all these things I've been experimenting with the Discord, and this is all because I am going to be publicly publishing or whatever uh, my Patreon page. It's been a big source of controversy in my own mind. Like, I don't know, should I do it or not? Really, the tipping point was the last Rule the Wave series when I had like 120 ship entries that I had to work out through the, through the course of the series. Um, so let me kind of explain the framework I'm trying to use for the supporters thing. Because in my opinion, you are a supporter, not just if you support by money. That's one way of doing it, sure. But um, some people will be... I don't know, not grandfathered or maybe ushered in or some people will be given our field promotions. <laughs> They're naval, so it wouldn't be field, but um, they'll be given promotions based on the merit of their activity on the channel. And one of the best examples you've probably seen his uh, great posts is Incompetent Idiot. He's um, done thumbnails for me. He's done a lot of work. So he, uh, like his way of supporting the channel is through his contributions there. For people who may be interested in not contributing in any other way, just prefer to watch. If you, But you still want your name in the game, your method of contributing will be, yeah, through Patreon probably. But I should say the first series on Rule the Waves, importantly, will not have any um, restriction to Patreon people or to like other supporters. I'm just going to say supporters, which lumps in the people who, like Ice Killer as well, he's helping out with Aurora, he helped me out with Aurora, he's helping other people out with Aurora. So in my opinion, he's already ushered into the into the ranks. Um, but the first Rule the Wave series, this first one with Patreon at least, it's not, you can still on the first video, put down the ship that you'd like, disappear for the rest of the series, no problem at all. Because this is just testing it out. This is the pilot Patreon program for uh, Tortuga Power. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Anyway, um, all I want to say is it'll never be necessary for you to support at all in any way, be it through Patreon or through contributing on the channel. It won't ever be necessary for you to just be a part of the series and interact with the comments. I never expect, and this is important, I said this right here, I always try to respond to every comment and that's something that as the channel grows, it does get a little bit more difficult, but it's just always been something that I feel like YouTube treats poorly is that a lot of people comment. It's like some, you know, I always thought that it's like saying something to the person who is creating the content. It's very, it's, it's only fair. It's only polite to try to respond back. Now, unfortunately, when you're like Quill 18 and you have like 500,000 people following you and you have like 
4,000 comments in an hour, yeah, it's just totally impossible for him to respond. But I'm not at that level, and I feel like people around my relatively low level of popularity, we should, I like to create a more intimate community, so I do like to respond to all the comments. Um, that said, it, it, that'll never change. As, as much as I can, until my last dying breath, or until my last breath of effort, um, because this is never going to be the number one priority in my life. So as much as I can, I, I will try to respond to every single comment, um, and that'll never change, be you if you're a supporter or not. Um, but for the eventually having names in the game, yes, I can foresee a situation where eventually you only have your name in the game if you support one way or the other. Like I said, if you contribute, if you're like an incompetent idiot, I also think of like Finnish Jaeger doing those fantastic Rule the Waves designs of the Yukumo and the, uh, what was the other one he did? Takeda class? He did the, no, I guess it was the Fiji class, but you know, those kind of contributions are so meaningful to me that that is a way of supporting the channel. Then then that like earns you the rank you're given. But if you would prefer, and I, I certainly would appreciate um, any support that you guys uh, also offer through Patreon. Now, I should say the Patreon money is not just for me to go lay on a, a bed of dollar bills or something, <laughs> or swim in my money a la Scrooge McDuck on DuckTales. It's earmarked for very specific things. First and foremost, right now my second monitor is... Uh, my family's only TV <laughs> because my first monitor broke down and my second monitor became my first monitor and then I just really needed a second monitor to do stuff so um, especially recordings I keep the recording the OBS software on the is this dangerous to do yes it is but there it is so I keep it on the second window because um, it's I can see what I'm recording I can see how long I've been recording for god 12 minutes too long uh, so let me speed this up. Uh, first thing it's earmarked for is a new monitor so that I can have two monitors again without needing to sacrifice the, the only television we have. <laughs> and then on top of that, I want to get a solid state drive. I'm mean, not a solid state drive. I have a solid state drive. I want to get a new operating system. I kind of mentioned this already, but if I go and search for woes, I think it was woes. Um, this one, let's jump to this. I already showed it on the channel, but basically I have um, a small hard drive hiccup uh, the videos that you record, I, I do purge a lot of them, but they do take up a fair amount of space, unfortunately. And my hard drive situation is really low. Now, the thing is, I actually have a new solid state hard drive, but I don't have an operating system to run it uh, with it. So I need to just bite the bullet and buy an operating system, probably Windows 10. So in order to do that, uh, these are the kind of things that will improve my ability to uh, to offer content to you. Um, obviously not needing to focus on deleting all the videos and, you know, editing becomes a challenge when you don't have space. Those kind of things, if I can just get an operating system for that solid state drive, no problem. We're, we're all set. Uh, those things will become easier. So when I'm talking about supporting the channel, uh, it's, it note that on my word, I have no way of proving this. I'm not going to provide receipts or anything, but on my word, I, every dollar that it comes in from the channel is earmarked towards things which should benefit the channel in some way, which really just means benefit my ability to record and anything like that. So that's how I think about it. This has never been a cash grab for me. It never will be. I try to specify that, really emphasize that on the channel, that you will always be welcome to participate in the comments and do anything you want without Patreon support. And I'm probably just talking way too much about this because I'm so like, I really do, uh, Patreon kind of gives me anxiety. <laughs> like I was very tentative to set it up, but um, I can definitely see how it will be helpful. And also just the maintenance of putting everybody's name in the game. I think that's really fun and I'd like to do it, but it's getting to the point where there's enough people um, asking for their name in the game that uh, this will, I think, somewhat help weed out individuals who, like I said, just stop on the first video, think this is a cool idea, ask for their name in the game, and then don't e and then just disappear. Um, if you are interested in following the whole series uh, and you're, you don't still want to lurk, there's a method for you to do that still. On the first series, like I said, Great British series, um, it won't be necessary for you to do anything. But after that, um, consider contributing. If you don't contribute, you know, non-monetarily, you can try to do so through Patreon. Um, other thing I want to emphasize, last thing before I go, is if you're considering supporting by Patreon, c 
cover like I, I would like to like cover the screen with the amounts <laughs> like don't look at the amounts that are on the left just could think about what you might want to support what might what you might want to do to support um, just consider that amount and then think about that before you look at the tiers because this is something I want to emphasize as well the tiers there's no large benefit between the different tiers uh, I think I've set up commander is priority name of the game and captain is higher priority but it's really not a big deal because I don't think there'll be that many people and then on top of that um, you maybe can get ship class names if you're a captain but basically just contribute what you would feel comfortable doing and I'm sure it'll fall into one of the tiers um, there's uh, the ones beyond captain are just a joke anyways I don't imagine I will be it'll be a okay this one is obviously just a joke but if somebody, I'm going to leave it there because, hey, you know, if somebody wants to spend basically enough money for me to live off of a month <laughs> to be the fleet admiral. It won't be Admiral Tortogo. It'll be Admiral Your Name Here. But uh, it's a joke, really. Um, I suspect that these will be the two main ones and even just Commander the main one. It, it, that is completely okay just to get your name in the game. But just contribute what you feel comfortable doing. And then whatever tier that happens to line you up on, okay, then you're there but there's no real difference between them. So, uh, and again, even though you contribute and you want your name in the game, I'm still adhering to my naming policy. Let's not break the fun role play that we have by having names like Uncle Big Butt or whatever. We, for the Japanese series, we had Kiro, Nihon, stuff like this. This is the appropriate thematic stuff. And I won't be breaking that naming policy just if you start throwing money at me, unless maybe if you throw $3,000 a month, but We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So thanks for this. This was a, I have to say again, I've already talked about it a few times and I, I just have always been a bit reluctant to do this, but I think it's an appropriate time to do it considering the um, length of time it takes me to put everybody's names in the game and all that. Um, and again, if you've already been contributing, you'll probably find yourself supporting, being a, uh, a ranking individual already. I wouldn't, it's very bad form to ask for that I know the people who contribute, so <laughs> so you will be given that rank. Uh, it's like asking for a promotion, which you may do at work, but you probably don't do in the military. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Enough for, from Tortuga. I hope this wasn't too off-putting, but thank you for watching, and until the next video, take care.